Let me show you how to create a 3D pop-out photo effect in Photoshop. In this video, you will learn how to use a combination of layers and layer masks to create the illusion that the skateboarder is jumping out of the phone. This tutorial is one of my in-app Photoshop tutorials. You can open the asset file directly from your installation of Photoshop and follow along with Coach Mark showing you each step of the process. To open this tutorial in Photoshop, go into the Discover panel by clicking on this icon or by pressing Ctrl F on Windows, that's Command F on the Mac. Click on Hands-on Tutorials, then scroll down until you find this tutorial or type Create a 3D Pop-Out Photo Effect in the search bar. Then click to open the tutorial. Next, press the blue Start Tutorial button to open the tutorial image in Photoshop. You can follow along with the guided on-screen overlays or this video. No worries if you don't have the latest version of Photoshop. You can follow along with older versions as well by downloading the tutorial files from my website. The link is in the description. We're going to work with this file. It contains two layers, a phone, and a skateboarder. Start by clicking on the skateboarder layer to activate it, then duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J on Windows, that's Command J on the Mac. Or if you prefer, you can go into the layer menu and select New Layer via Copy. Next, turn off the visibility of these layers by clicking on both eye icons. Then click on the background layer to activate it. From the toolbar, go into the Object Selection tool and select the magic wand tool nested under it. The magic wand tool is excellent for selecting large blocks of a single color, like the white phone screen. All you need to do now is click once on the white phone screen to select it. Next, bring back the visibility of the original skateboarder layer by clicking on the empty square to the left of the layer thumbnail. Then click on the layer to activate it, and click on the layer mask icon from the layers panel to create a mask based on the active selection. This layer mask will hide most of the skateboarder image and only show it on the phone screen. Next, click on the empty space to turn on the visibility of the layer and click on the layer to activate it. Then, go into the Select menu and choose Subject. This command will use artificial intelligence known as Adobe Sensei to analyze the image and create a selection around the main subject. Again. Click on the layer mask icon to create a layer mask from the active selection. This mask will hide the background from this layer and only show the skateboarder. By having the background displayed on the phone and the layer showing only the skateboarder that extends past the edges of the screen, you will create the illusion that the skateboarder is popping out of the phone. Although the artificial intelligence did a great job in selecting the skateboarder, the selection was not perfect. You will need to fine tune the layer mask. You can do so by selecting the brush tool from the toolbar and paint on the layer mask with either black or white to hide or reveal pixels. For example, you can set the foreground color to white and reduce the brush size by tapping on the left bracket key on the keyboard and paint with white to reveal the missing areas of the skateboard. This next part is not in the in-app tutorial, but I thought it would be a good idea to show. I really think that you're going to enjoy this technique. If you enjoy it, make sure that you click on that like button. When creating this effect, sometimes you may need to reposition the main subject. If you select the Move tool from the toolbar and move the layer, you will see that the effect no longer works. To keep the effect active as you move the layers, hold Shift and click on both skateboarder layers, then click on the link icon on the bottom left of the layers panel to link these layers together. Linking layers allows you to move or transform two or more layers by adjusting one of the link layers. No need to select multiple layers. Then unlink the phone screen layer mask from the layer by clicking the link icon between the layer thumbnail and the layer mask thumbnail. Unlinking a layer mask from a layer will allow you to move the layer without moving the mask. Now, when you reposition the skateboarder, you will maintain the 3D pop-out effect. Remember to check out all my in-app Photoshop tutorials in the Discover panel, like my tutorial on creating the perspective bending effect. You can watch it here. My name is Jesus Ramirez. Thank you so much for watching.